Hello, welcome to 11th episode of Neuroanatomy. And today we are going to talk about receptors. You can say the receptors are connection of your body with the outer world. As eye has photoreceptors, they receive the light and send it to the brain. And with the photoreceptor, you are able to see the world. We are talking about receptors neuroanatomically. However, in pharmacology or biochemistry, receptors have totally different meaning. In neuroanatomy, there are five classes of receptors according to what they respond to or what is their activating stimulus. In two classes according to their structure. Let's start with the classification by their activating stimulus. As I said that there are five classes according to their activating stimulus and those are mechanoreceptors, thermoreceptors, nociceptors, electromagnetic receptors and chemoreceptors. Let's check out all those one by one. Let's see what are mechanoreceptors. Mechanoreceptors detect stimuli like touch, pressure, vibration and sound from external or internal environments. There are many types of mechanoreceptors as Meissner capsules, Presnian capsules, Merkel's discs, Refnitz capsules, Golgi receptors, free nerve endings and hair follicles. Before going forward, let's summarize all the information we learned till now. We learned that receptors are connections of our body to outer world then there are five classes of receptors according to their activation stimulus and two classes according to their structure and then we learned about the names of those five classes first of those classes was mechanoreceptors and then we jumped into the types of mechanoreceptors i hope it is not too complicated let's check out the types of mechanoreceptors one by one and then all the five classes one by one mesnier carpuscles are also known as tactile carpuscles they are located in dermal papillae of the skin, especially the skin of the palm of the hand, sole of the feet, nipples and external genitalia. These corpuscles are void in shape and they have a capsule of connective tissue that is continuous with the endoneurium of the nerve that is entering to it. I described all the coverings of nerve in episode 9. I am only showing you what is endoneurium. This is endoneurium. Outer covering of nerve fiber or exon is called endoneurium. A few myelinated nerve fibers enter the deep end of capsule. Mesnier's carpuscles considerably reduce with the age. They are responsible to transmitting sensation of fine discriminative touch and vibration. They are most sensitive to low frequency vibrations between 10 to 15 Hz. Mesnier's capsules are very sensitive to touch, but they are very rapidly adapting mechanoreceptors. Rapidly adapting means they respond maximally but for less time. Their shape changes for some time and their response decreases if stimulus is maintained. Means with the first touch you will feel the touch but if something is touching you continuously you will be less aware with the time. This happens because the frequency of action potential decreases quickly and soon stops. This process of adaptation occurs in most sense receptors. It prevents the nervous system from being exhausted. They have ability to two-point discrimination. Two-point discrimination means they can identify that two nearby objects that in the skin are at two distinct points or are on two different locations. Pacinian carpuscles, they are also known as lamellar carpuscles. Pacinian carpuscles are deeper than mesinary carpuscles because they detect high frequency vibrations and gross pressure. They are also void in shape but lamellar in structure. A large myelinated nerve fiber enters the corpuscle and loses its myelin sheath. A naked exon terminates in an expanded end. Unlike mesonic corpuscles who are consulted on the palm of the hand and sole of the foot, nipples and external genitalia, presinian corpuscles are excreted throughout the body. They are abundant in dermis, subcutaneous tissue, ligaments, joints, capsules, pleura, peritoneum, nipples and external genitalia. They are also rapidly adapting as mesonic carpuscles. Their range of frequency is 20 to 1000 Hz. Markel discs, they are concentrated in fingertips and hair follicles. In hairy skin, clusters of Markel discs are known as tactile domes or touch domes. As mesoneurs and mesonic carpuscles were sensing vibration, Markel discs sense touch. It is the main type of tactile and organ for sensing gentle touch, including social interactions, environmental explorations, and tactile discrimination. Since it is highly abundant on fingertips, it has high tactile equity for an object physical features such as texture, shape, and edges. Unlike mesonic and presnian carpuscles, it is slowly adapting, means you are aware of stimulus instead of stimulus is being persistent. Now come to Ruffini's carpuscles. Ruffini's carpuscles are also known as bulbous carpuscles. 
they are sensitive to skin stretch and they provide kinesthetic sense of finger position and movement means they provide the sense of position and movement of body parts like mesnier corpuscles they also detect low frequency vibrations but they are slowly adapting as mesnier corpuscles are rapidly adapting receptors and they are found in dermis of hairy skin golgi receptors all the mechanoreceptors we learned till now were present in the skin but golgi receptors are present in tendons as you can see this is the bone this is muscle and this is tendon which is attaching the muscle to the bone and here you can see neurotendinous spindles or golgi receptors that are present in tendons and where it is located near the junction of tendon with the muscle they sense the information regarding the tension of muscles and send it to the brain golgi receptors have capsule outside with the collagen fibers inside and one or more myelinated sensory nerve fibers pierce the capsule lose their myelin sheath branch and terminate when nerve branches get squeezed by moving tendon they get activated so they are sensitive to muscle tension and in the last the mechanoreceptors left are free nerve ending and hair follicles a free nerve ending is an uncapsulated dendrite of a sensory neuron most commonly in the skin and they are extended into the middle of epidermis free nerve endings are sensitive to painful stimuli like hot and cold and they are also sensitive to touch pain pressure now let's learn about hair follicles at the base of hair follicle there are sensory fibers that wrap around each hair bulb bending the hair stimulates the nerve endings and then we feel the hair has been moved hair follicle receptors are actually receptors of touch and with this our mechanoreceptors are finished and we will learn about other receptors in the coming video till then the half is